everybody. I got a new uh, Mattel Electronics uh, electronic game for you. This one's baseball. After playing this one a little bit, I think I like this one more than the auto race. Um, took a little bit to get used to, but uh, this one is pretty damn fun. Right, the instructions. Move the off switch to one for the beginner speed or two for big leaguer. Press pitch button and wait for a good pitch. Press batting key and swing away. If batter makes contact, listen for beep tones. Two beeps double, three beeps triple. It's not quite that simple, but yeah, it's a good guide. Press running key and go for it. Computer pitcher will mix them up. Curves, fast ones, change ups, scoreboards. Shows balls and strikes, innings, outs, run scored, field lights up for home run. And uh, it's made in Hong Kong, of course. I'm going to play a full game. There are only, only five innings, uh, but uh, yeah. So we got two difficulty levels. The second one, uh, you, you'll get used to it. It gets a little easier if you play it a little bit. I'm going to go with the easier level for now. Score button, pitch button, run button, and this is the batting button with the uh, whatever the hell was there originally has worn off. It looks like it was only two letters originally. But, uh, we'll see. Start it up. Notice that it says first inning up on the top there. You press score and it will show the uh, scores two digits. Right now it's zero, of course. So. In order to start it, we press pitch, and then we can bat once it gets there, so let's press pitch. And it's a swing and a miss. Now, they will throw balls occasionally, but it's so damn rare that it's not really advisable to ever take a pitch, and you can't ever tell either, really. So it's just... So that was a triple, but as you see, he runs really slow, so I'm only going to go for two. They have the batters... The runners have a couple speeds. I think at least three, maybe four different speeds to them. There's really fast where you can get extra bases, more than the beeps tell you. And really slow, like right there, where I should have gotten a triple there, but he was just too damn slow. If I would have went, I would have been out. Swing and a miss. Oh, swing and a miss again. Oh, no. And, uh, oh, oh. I, I did score him though, I think. Yes, I did score him. Oh, I got him. I actually got to second base too. Wow, nobody out. Yeah, he was really fast, so I just let him run. Now, originally, when I was playing this, I was like tapping the run button, and he was going a lot slower, but then I just figured out just to hold it, and they go a little faster. It's double. I don't think I'm going to make it, so I'm going to hold up. Maybe I could have made it. Yeah. Oh. Double. He's fast enough. I'm gonna try for triple. Got him. Yeah. Nice one. So right now it's three nothing. Triple again. I think I can make a triple. Yes. And up there, as you see, that, that means it went to center field, left field, right field. We're still... We still we haven't had any outs yet. Still in the first inning. Hmm. Come on. And that's our first out. There is no fielding. You you get to play, you know, both teams, both the visitor and the home team. So I'm assuming, you know, you probably pass it off to a friend if you wanted to. Or just play it yourself. It's still fun playing by yourself. Matters not that there's not a friend, that you have no friend because you're a lonely computer nerd. Alright. Now in order to... That's our third out. So in order to switch, we hit score. And that switches side, so now we are playing as the home team. And, oh yeah. As the lights go, that's the home run. I'm going to show you what I did now. It doesn't do anything unless you actually press run. So this is what I did originally. Notice how slow it goes. 
then you can just hold it and it goes a lot faster. So we got one home run for the home team. It is four to one. Next pitch. And it's out over at third base. I mean this really gives you a great feeling like for the seventies, like this this is an awesome game. I, I really do actually have the feeling that I'm at a baseball game. This is not the worst game ever. I think I can make triple. Yeah, there we go. I went to center field. Center field triple. To double. I think it. Nope. Wasn't able to get it, even though it, it beeped twice, but he was just too damn slow. So. And out at center field. So it's four to two. Again, out. Now that I held, that was a ball actually. Yep, I held up there, and that was a ball. You can walk. I have had him walk before. It's a strike, one and one. We're gonna try to work the count here. Yeah, it doesn't really work. <laughs> Once you get two strikes on you, though, you're pretty screwed. Almost always. Anytime I had two strikes, they almost always get me out. That was out at third base. And that's the end of the inning. 4 2. Home run! Let's round the bases. Slow guy here. Who's that for? That was for the home team? Yep. Four to three. It's a close game. Swung way too early there. Out at center field. Oof, strike one. So let's hold up. No, nope, no. Nope. Second strike. And you're out. It's, it's really not advisable to work the count. I just advise to swing at every pitch. Yeah, home run. Good at the home runs today. Really slow. He must have been a fat guy. Four to four. We've tied it up. Not that I. Uh, not that I'm rooting for any team in particular here. <laughs> That's the end of that inning. Going back to the visitors. It's a triple. I don't think he's fast enough, so I'm going to stop him at second. So we're going to miss. Ooh, infield. Oh, no. Well, he's got him at second still, so they don't do double plays or anything. Five to four. Runners on third pitch. Swing and a miss. Alright, triple. I think I can get triple. Let's try for a home run. Why not? Did it! Inside the park home run. Inside the park. Yeah. Seven to four. Wow. Visitors are kicking the home team's ass now. I'm going to go for triple. Did it. <laughs> Have easy. If I put it on the pro setting, you won't be able to do those extra, extra bases. Let's, let's switch it to the second. Now, for some reason, if you put it to two... Oh, not this... This is weird. It seems to put, like, a batter on first base for some reason when you switch it to two. Okay, that time it didn't. <laughs> seems to be some issues with it, but... Let's take a peek at how hard it is on this... Yeah. It's a lot faster. And, yeah, no infield hit there. <laughs> It's a double. I, I'm not going to be able to make it, though, so, yeah. People run a little slower. Not necessarily going to get all your hits, so. It's definitely harder, but yeah, it's fun at any any level. More arcadey at the first uh, difficulty. More realistic at the second one. I think that can get a double, maybe. No, no. Yeah, forget the beeps. 
when you're on pro. But yeah, that, that's enough, guys. You've seen it. This is Mattel Electronics Baseball. This is a very fun game. I was, I just played it a little bit yesterday, and then I ended up playing it like over and over again. I'd watch a video or something on YouTube, and then I'd go right back to playing it. This is very fun. Uh, what's, this one does not have a date on it, unlike the last one. I'm not sure when this was made. I should look it up or something, but whatever. This one was very fun to play. I like it. This is my favorite one so far. Mattel Electronics Baseball. All right. The sun's batting. The sun hits it. Oh, he's going for one. Going to two. He's gonna make it. He's going home. Oh my God! Hit the park home run for the sun. Yeah. Live and slate. Batter up. <laughs> Mattel Electronics Baseball. I like this game a lot. This is my favorite so far of them. I like this one better than Auto Race, I think. Yeah, I like Auto Race a lot, but this one, this one's my favorite so far. I played another one recently, uh, which is not so good, I don't think, but uh, that'll come later. This one is fun. I did some research online. Looks like it came out in 1978, even though there's no copyright on the thing itself. Seems to be going from 20 to $50 if you want to copy yourself. They're pretty cool. I, this one's worth having in the collection, I think. Um, you will get enjoyment out of this, I think. Um, if you want more from Mattel Electronics and their handheld games, I'll link you to a video of the auto race one that I did earlier. And uh, it's the only one I've done so far, but I do have I have several more of these. And my other video I'm going to whore out is. Uh, Wing Commander Secret Missions 1.5 in quotations because uh, it's not really Secret Missions 1.5. It was um, it's kind of a funny story because uh, Super Wing Commander came out for the 3DO and Macintosh and it was it was really just a uh, remake of the original Wing Commander and they included you know, the Secret Missions which was released on DOS but. Secret Missions 2, they changed it a lot. They changed it drastically. It's a completely different experience, kind of, story-wise. Some of it's the exact same, and some of it's different. But now there's been a fan patch release, which allows you to play the missions that were formerly only on the Super Wing Commander 3DO versions, and lets you play it in DOS, so yeah, that video's gonna be about that. I hope you guys watch it. I think that's my best review yet, and nobody's, uh... It's gotten, nobody has even bothered to watch it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works and whether whether or not you even see it. Or whether or not you see it and then you're like, eh, that one doesn't interest me. Or what, I don't know. I don't know how it works. Uh, I think I think it deserves uh, to be watched because I, I think it's my best one yet. So uh, if you disagree, watch it and uh, tell me why you don't. As always, I appreciate likes, comments, subscriptions. If you want to see more of this stuff, let me know. Oh, what a play!